Now, the Congress of the Chinese Communist Party, where the party will amend its charter and select its top leadership, has uh, kicked off. President Xi Jinping will try to further tighten his grip on power by naming his uh, allies to top leadership posts as he's set for a second five-year term as the nation's leader. For more, we have our Oh jung on the line. So, jung the Congress got underway this morning. Uh, what could we hear from the Chinese president and what will be uh, the uh, CPC? What's it going to be focusing on? Hi, Mark. The 19th National Congress of the Communist Party of China, or CPC, opened roughly three hours ago in Beijing. This is a huge political event held once every five years. And for this Congress, the Chinese president Xi Jinping will be starting his second term and hoping to consolidate his power even further. He has already been declared a core leader of the party, a status that's on par with the CPC founder Mao Zedong and his successor Deng Xiaoping. During the opening remarks this morning, she emphasized that this Congress will focus on making a Xiaokang society where all citizens can enjoy comfortable and affluent lives and strive to achieve socialism with Chinese characteristics. It also seems through this Congress the party will strengthen its anti-corruption campaign. The, party, uh, the, the Congress spokesperson said yesterday that the party will make clear that anyone who violates the party discipline and the state law will be punished no matter who they are. And Zhang Yi, what will the CPC be doing and uh, what are the, some, some of the key points to watch out for? Uh, during this week-long Congress, the party will make amendments to its constitution incorporating the new governance concepts, thoughts and strategies of President Xi and setting a blueprint for national development for the next five years and beyond. And a lot of attention will be focused on changes in leadership structure. That's who will be appointed as the new members of the Standing Committee of the Political Bureau of the Nation's Ruling Party, which is China's top decision-making body. Except for President Xi Jinping and Premier Li Keqiang, five of the seven members of the committee are set to retire and some of the rising stars who are expected to take over the reins include Chongqing Municipality Party Chief Chen min -er, and uh, described as Xi's trusted confidant, and Guangdong Party Chief Hu Chunhua. And for the opening of this Congress, North Korea has uh, sent a message of congratulations to China. That's right. North Korean state media reported Wednesday um, that the regime's ruling Workers' Party sent its warm greetings to the CPC and the Chinese people in hopes for a satisfactory success of the Congress. But Pyongyang's message for this Congress was only three sentences long, and that's much shorter than the message it sent to Beijing for the previous Congress in 2012, which was over 800 characters long. Also, while the previous messages have always emphasized securing and advancing the two's long friendship, there was no mention of that for this year's Congress, which reflects the rather cold relations between the two over Beijing's sanctions against Pyongyang for continued provocation. That's all I have for now, and I'll be back with more updates for later newscasts. Okay, thank you very much for that report, uh, Zhang Yi there.